Hi, Julie Jones with SSP Performance, Smarter, Stronger, Better Mindset Training, here with this week's Mindset Made Simple Tip of the Week. And yes, last week we missed, and you'll understand why as I get into this week's tip. But last week, we had a vacation plan to the Orlando area, and we were going to fly out on Saturday. And of course, a couple hours before the flight, I get the text message that says, your flight's been canceled. So I spent time rebooking, and all of you that have been had to rebook know how fun that is only to get up the next day, go through half the day and see our flight again has been canceled. Now what? We decided to hop in the car and drive to Florida. We live in Ohio, mind you. So about a 14 hour trip, we drove halfway. I was not happy, not a happy camper. My first spring break since 1987 without softball involved or without COVID. So we head out and we're driving along and I'm still frustrated, still focused on the fact that things are not going the way I had planned. Don't laugh, you're a control freak too, coach. I'm sure you are. So we drove, we stopped somewhere in South Carolina. And at that point I was reminded that it is not about the destination. It is about the journey. And I got to really thinking about process over outcome. I wanted this great vacation. I had in mind what was going to happen. We're going to Universal Studios to see Harry Potter and all these things with our son. And it was going to be so exciting. See my sister, my dad's going with us to see her kids and we're going to have a blast. And it's not going as planned. But we stop in South Carolina. It's about midnight. We walk into the hotel room and my son is like, this is awesome. Look how big this hotel room, I've got my own pull-out couch over here. This is so exciting. And right then, right then, I thought, he does not care. It is about the journey. His drive to Florida was as exciting as getting to Florida. What does this teach us about how we handle our outcome goals? As you may have remembered from the past, my new favorite quote from Dilbert the comic strip is this. Losers have goals, winners have systems. And if we change out systems to process, we will realize that it's truly the process that makes the difference. We don't control outcomes. I cannot make this a great vacation. What I can do is enjoy every minute moving up to it and realize that my nine-year-old, almost 10-year-old son is so pumped about staying in a hotel room, which I've done a million times and so have you, that that is the joy. So what do we do with that as we're looking ahead to our seasons or in our seasons? For those of you that are winning, great. That is awesome. For those of you that are not, how can we use the process, both of us, winners and not winners right now, use the process to keep us on track. Number one, if we are constantly saying, I have to do this, I have to do this to be happy. If we're always projecting to the future, if and when I get this, that, or I am this, I will be happy. We are setting ourselves up for failure. We're going to be happy in the future. What we're doing now should be bringing us the joy. It's the small wins. If we're winning, how can we stay on track and keep measuring the things that are getting us there as opposed to the outcome? We don't control whether we win or not. We don't control the, whether we get a hit. We don't control whether we score a goal. We control what we do leading to that. And the little wins we get leading to that can help us build momentum, whether we're winning or losing? What can we measure? What can we celebrate? What can we enjoy with our teammates? Because really when we're winning, it's not about the win. It is. I mean, we're coaches. We have to win. I get that. I've lived that and I've lost way too much. But the bottom line is those wins, they fade. It's the, it's the experiences. It's the growth. It's the relational experiences that we have that really lead to the joy. And if we're losing, how can we build that momentum? It's so hard when we're losing, trust me, I know, to look for things that are working, things that we can build upon. This is where we can regain control. We fully control the process. We do not control the outcome. We can measure, we can celebrate, we can acknowledge, we can share. What are we doing well and how can we do more of it? This doesn't mean that we act like winning doesn't matter. We know that's not true. Our culture demands winning. The parents demand winning. Our administrations demand that we win. But what can we measure and share that can help us build momentum, help us get into that positive emotion that we know that we need to win, ultimately to win the game? 
We have 50-50 chance of winning every time we go out, no matter how heavily we're favored. If we knew that somebody else was going to win, we don't even need to play the game. If we knew we were going to win, like there's no guarantee that even if we're that even if we're picked to win that we're going to. Something can happen. That's why we play. So we if we're banking our happiness on the outcome, we're in trouble. How can we build momentum? Managing moments, because momentum is built moment to moment. What are you doing well? How can we do more of it? How can we ensure that people are seeing that we're doing these things well? That allows us then to repeat what we want. Are we, are we celebrating what we want to see again? I read a story that said that a guy was tra training a seal or he, a, a researcher went up and said, how do you get that seal to do that? He says, I reward him every time he does something well. I know as a coach, I didn't do that. I look for problems. But if we can look for the things that are going well and build on those, we can build some momentum and keep momentum if we are winning, build momentum if we're not. But the bottom line is this, walking into that hotel room, driving 14 hours to Florida and back reminded me that the little boy that I was going to Florida for ultimately did not care about the outcome. And yes, the destination was great. I've been there a bazillion times. This was different. This is way more exciting than going with teams or, or, or for recruiting because we are sharing experiences. But it wasn't about the destination. It wasn't about the outcome that I couldn't control. It was about that hotel room. What is your hotel room? What is it that you can tie together to get all of us on board and moving forward, building little steps at a time to manage moments and momentum? That's the question this week. If you'd like to talk more about this or if I can help your team in any way, please reach out, Julie J at ssbperformance.com. Check out the rest of my vlogs at ssbperformance backslash blog. Until next week, what is your hotel room? What's the process? How are you going to break it down into small, measurable, achievable, celebratable, if that's a word, actions that can help us get and stay on track? Have a great week.